This video shows you how to connect the JBOD system to the JSTO iSCSI RAID subsystem. Here we prepare one unit of the iSCSI RAID along with three units of SAS JBOD system. And let's take a look at the rear end. This is the rear end of the RAID subsystem. The first unit here, this is the iSCSI RAID. And this is the JBAR, three JBAR subsystems. Then here we are going to connect the SAS JBAR to the iSCSI RAID subsystem for capacity expansion. Let's take a look here. This is the iSCSI RAID controller. And you can take a look here. Here is a, a SAS ESP. It means the power for SAS expansion. And this is a SAS JBOD, this is the controller. And you can take a look here. It says it, uh, it's SAS in. And this is a SAS ESP, it's for expansion. So here you need to prepare the SAS cable. You can take it uh, out from the accessory box. Okay, and first step, you need to insert one end of the SAS cable onto the SAS expansion port and controller and then connect it to the second unit through the SAS in port. Okay, this is the SAS in port, you can read from it. Okay. And then second unit, insert it and daily chain to the third unit. Okay, it's again the same SAS in port and start the expansion port to the last unit through the starting port. Okay, take a look. Until here, three J bus has already been attached to the iSCSI rest up system. When you would like to power on the systems, you need to power on the last unit first from this J bar. You power on this unit first then second unit, then third unit, and the last one is the rest of system. If you like to power off the system, again, uh, you need to discontinue all the I.O. from the server side first, and start the service, then power off from this rest of system first, and then the following J-Bots, one by one, you can shut it down. Okay, so this is a very simple step to show you how to connect the JBus to the rest of system for capacity expansion. If you have any questions, uh, welcome to contact ACNC for more information.